Hi, I'm Tom Barry Cotter, and welcome to the official walkthrough tour of Maritima's newest sedan flagship, the Maritima S75 sedan motor yacht. There's a multitude of storage solutions here on the adventure deck. We can store anything from tenders or jet skis uh, here on the hydraulic swim platform. We can mount them on deck here on the adventure deck itself, running longitudinally. You'll actually get a tender and a jet ski here, running north-south here on the adventure deck, which uh, is brought up on the adventure deck by an electric winch and cradle system. Alternatively, if you don't want the tender interfering with your relaxation or entertaining, uh, we can have a smaller tender under the adventure deck in the garage as well. So the expanse of this adventure deck is over 16 and a half square metres. That's over 165 square feet. And we have the optional 1.4 metre hydraulic platform as well, which can lower in and out of the water, either for those water activities or for launching and retrieving tenders. Flanking each side of the adventure deck here within the rear portofinos is our fair lead and main cleat system here. We've got two main cleats each side with the fair leads integrated here into the portofino hips. We also have the optional capstan winch here as well and then moving forward that runs into our line lockers which also flank each side. And centre of the forward entertainment unit is the entertainment area itself. So here we have a solid surface finished bar with large sink, hot and cold water here and then we have various options for electric grills. Here on the port side we have this large top loading cooler and as you can see there's a huge amount of space at the junction from side deck, adventure deck to upper cockpit area. And that's all because the adventure deck is home to the line lockers, which would traditionally be up in this upper cockpit area encroaching in on this space. So that just provides a lot more open area when you're traveling in between these various zones. So moving from the adventure deck area to the upper cockpit area, just a very manageable three steps. And then you step into this enormous cockpit space. So displayed here in this first hull is the optional L-shape arrangement here with this eight seat casual dining setting as it sits at the moment. And in just a matter of seconds, this casual dining setting can fold out into a more formal dining setting, which can comfortably fit 10 people. And spanning the entire rear section of this upper cockpit space is the forward facing Euro lounge. And in the standard cockpit setting with no L-shape lounge, the rear Euro lounge would have a dinette fit for it. So the optional L-shaped lounge also comes with sealed storage in both returns of the lounge. That opens via gas assist. And as you can see, there's a great amount of storage in there, which is very easily accessible. To the port side, uh, we have this standard wet bar area here, uh, which comes with a trash receptacle. And this can be optioned with various fridges, ice makers or storage. And then flanking each side of the upper cockpit space here, we have the standard quarter clears, which are great for protecting you from any headwind coming down the side decks. So recessed and integrated into the headliner is this black bag that you see here. So with a simple unzip out of there, you can roll down either breezeway or clears and completely enclose and protect the upper cockpit space. And this particular boat here has also been optioned with this rear awning, which provides a lot of protection for both the adventure deck entertainment area and this upper cockpit space. And covering this entire area, we have our headliner feature panels, which have this integrated mood lighting, uh, which really brings a nice ambience at dusk when that light starts to settle. And then providing access to the hardtop utility deck, uh, we have these folding stairs here, which recess into the headliner. And with these hardtop stairs folded down, we have really quick and convenient access to the hardtop utility deck. Our top utility deck being one of the key features of the Maritima S series sedan range. So the area up here has a max load capacity of 1.5 metric tons evenly spread. So even with a couple of jet skis or say a large four meter tender, there's plenty of room within that safety margin for the storage of other gear. Option here on this S75 is the 500 kilo davit, perfect for lifting large tenders and jet skis. And as you can see, even this large davit here nicely blends into the exterior lines of the boat and nicely tucks away in these high bulwarks of this area. So 
So moving from the cockpit deck to the forward deck is Maritimo's signature walkthrough side decks. And these high bulwarks here provide a great sense of security and comfort to people of any age moving around the boat. And for access around this forward deck lounging area, we have this little cut through on the starboard side, but we can also fully walk around um, the sunbed here and have access both sides of the sunbed to the forward deck area. And symmetrically spread around the forward deck area, we have five deck hatches. So they're providing both light and ventilation to those cabins below. And all the way forward in this area, we have this elevated platform which completely covers the anchor winch area. So this minimises any trip hazards in this zone. Flanking both sides of the anchor winch, we have deep anchor wells for both storage and access to the anchor chain. So for 20 years, Maritimo has been crafting motor yachts all around the world. One of the features that's always been centered around is the aft galley. The aft galley is the center point of dining and entertaining for both the upper cockpit deck and the saloon area. So being a long range cruising sedan motor at its heart, the S75 galley has the capability and capacity to provide for those on board for those long trips. So right at the most accessible point of the galley, we have the upright Miele fridge freezer. Adjacent to that, we have the Miele appliance tower. Now this can be optioned in various ways with all sorts of Miele appliances. Moving forward, we have plenty of bench space. We have this large Miele four burner hob, twin sink, and then over to the starboard side here, um, we have twin trash receptacles. At the rear end of the galley return, we have this household width Miele dishwasher. We also have two towers of cutlery drawers and pots and pans drawers each side. To the port side of the galley area here, we have this full height pull-out pantry, which has a huge amount of storage uh, for storing goods on those long trips. Forward of the pantry, we have another tower of drawers, standard ice maker, drawer fridge freezer, and bottle storage. So just a single step from the aft galley to the main salon lounge area and dining setting. We have this incredibly versatile salon space. So that all starts with this starboard U-shaped lounge opposing this really expansive port side lounge. So we can go from this dining setting as you see here, the table leg is offset so that table can be um, swung around and camp outwards and then lowered down to be more of a, a lounging and casual dining setting or if you're watching a movie somewhere to put your feet up. So at the forward end of the salon lounge and dining area opposite the helm uh, we have this elevated cruising lounge. Now this area here is perfect for keeping the social setting uh, between any guests and the skipper. Um, you can comfortably fit a couple of people here which really maintains that social setting. But even better, uh, on a long range cruise, um, you can sit back here with your feet up and take in all of the views of the surroundings. So here at the command station of the S75, we have Maritimo's latest helm and dash design. So this latest iteration of the Maritimo helm design really centers on ergonomics and sight lines. As you can see displayed here, uh, we've got the two 24 inch Garmin screens in that main display pod. So that main display pod uh, can resize depending on the screen arrangement that you opt for. So if you would like to go say triple 16s or triple 19s, uh, that'll be a, a lower, wider pod. This one here showing the 224s gives you a massive amount of screen area, but without really impeding on any of your sight lines. So with sight lines in mind, the design teams work very hard to slim the window mullions down and really remove any obstructions to those sight lines from the helm position. So from here, from the helm seat, um, we've really got great panoramic 360 degree visibility. So controls here on the armrest were kept within very ergonomic reach and these controls can be customized to owner request as to where you would like all of your controls positioned. So the ergonomics of the dash has also been centered around the design of our latest helm seat, which has electric fore and aft, up and down and recline. 
So that adjustability built into these helm seats allows someone tall like me to be as far back and down as possible just to maximize uh, the, the room to pass through. Uh, but it's also if I want to get up close and really be a part of the dash and have all the controls at my fingertips, I can really maximize that through the travel of the seat. And back down on the main deck, making our way to the accommodation deck, we have the atrium staircase. Now this is a feature in all Maritimos, which brings a lot of natural light in through the windshield, down through the companionway and into the lower deck. So this area also incorporates a feature staircase design with these open floating treads. Again, we've tried to design in as much open airiness into the boat as possible, really making the boat feel spacious. So that brings us to this upper landing where conveniently here we have the access to the day head, which also doubles as the guest ensuite for the two guest cabins here on the upper landing. Making our way from the upper companionway to the Ford VIP stateroom, we have our signature offset queen berth. Now this configuration enables us to have flat floor all the way around the berth, which makes getting in and out of the bed and making the bed a lot easier compared to your traditional V berth. So the design team has tried to maximize every little bit of space for storage within the accommodation areas of the 75. Here under the offset queen berth in the Ford stateroom is a great example. We've gone to great lengths to provide as much clothing storage for VIP guests aboard by providing six drawers within the cabin as well as a full height hanging robe. And at the foot of the berth we have the standard 50 inch wall mounted TV with integrated panelling. And once again above in the headliner another deck hatch for both natural light and ventilation. To port side the VIP stateroom also includes its own private ensuite Again, with medicine cabinet storage, storage cupboards, a large shower and deck hatch. Moving starboard to the guest stateroom, we have a very generously sized twin cabin, which can easily convert to a queen cabin in a matter of seconds. To the forward outer hull side, we have a full height hanging robe. On the forward bulkhead, we have an optional 32 inch TV wall mounted with feature panelling. Again, above there is an opening deck hatch to the headliner which brings in fresh air and natural light. Move into the day head and guest ensuite. We continue that theme of openness and natural light and ventilation, which is brought in from the deck hatch above. And in this area we have ample amounts of storage via drawers in the lower vanity and then medicine cabinets behind all of the mirrors. There's then a large shower to the starboard side which incorporates even more storage for shampoo, conditioner and soap as well as a shower seat to the outer hull side. Moving across the companionway to the port side bunk stateroom, again here we've been very generous in the size of the cabin and the size of the bunks themselves, incorporating two true adult size single bunks. Then moving from the Ford stateroom down to the lower deck, the design of our companionway stairs and atrium has allowed us to incorporate this incredible laundry area right in the center of the accommodations of the vessel. The laundry area incorporates either separate washer and dryer or combo washer and dryer with linen cupboard as well as a pull out storage rack. And in the forward bulkhead of this laundry area, we have our primary access to the forward bilge. And within this space as well, both the open treads within the staircase as well as this mirror on the aft bulkhead really give that impression of space within this area. And finally, welcome to the master stateroom aboard the 75, where you get this immense sense of volume and space in this area, provided by the near 20 feet of beam and six foot 10 inches of headroom combined with these incredible panoramic hull windows. At Maritimo, the interior selection experience has been elevated even further to provide owners with an array of headboard, feature panel and material colour options. Owners are able to select between four distinct colour themes in June, Haven, Oyster and Cove. And they can also select between three Enviro timber veneer colour options in either full gloss or grain filled satin. 
There are also three headboard and feature panel options to select from with fluted panel and herringbone, abstract or timber slats all able to be selected. Finally, there are six decor themes which can be selected, giving owners countless combinations so that they can personalise their Maritimo to be truly one of a kind. The master stateroom is designed around a centre-lying king bed and outer cabinetry modules which can be optioned as either drawer set, desk and drawers or lounge and drawers. The Ford bulkhead in the cabin is home to full height mirrors both sides with half height hanging robes as well as a centre line 55 inch wall mounted TV and feature panel. Then moving aft we have the walk through robe area with twin full height cedar line robes which is conveniently located next to the opulent master ensuite. The vessel's theme of volume and space carries into the impressive master ensuite with twin vanities, endless storage drawers and cupboards and the very generously sized shower with hull window, opening port and privacy blind. And alternatively we can have this area set up as a utility cabin which provides you this great bench space here as a workbench have either drawers or cupboards here depending on what the owner requests. We have further storage to the starboard side here and then of course engine room access again uh, to the forward bulkhead. And then over the top of the utility bench again um, we have that rear window looking aft over the adventure deck bringing lots of natural light into this space whether it be in the utility cabin setup or the crew cabin setup. Moving into the 75 engine room space, Maritima have gone to great lengths to engineer as much space as possible here for both owner operator and service personnel to navigate there around all the machinery in this area. Traditionally, Maritima engine rooms are larger in size to comparatively sized vessels and the 75 is no exception. Like all Maritimos, the engine room is centred upon a fully moulded solid GRP structural hull liner which runs from the rear of the crew cabin all the way forward to the forward anchor well. Maritimo uses a patented bonding process in how the structure melds with the hull. That provides greater strength and reduces weight. And as with the hull, the fully lined structure is solid GRP from the top sides down. So there's no stress about water ingress into the core or any delamination. So fuel tanks within the 75 are also integrated into that fully molded structural hull liner. We have twin wing tanks feeding into a central main tank which goes down into the keel of the hull underneath the accommodation area which brings the main mass of that 10,000 litres of total fuel capacity down as low as possible in the boat to provide greater stability. The 75 comes powered by either a standard twin Scania DI-16 1150 horsepower V8 engine setup with twin disc gearboxes. That's perfect for those looking for that economical cruise long range adventuring setup. Or for those looking for a bit more of a performance option, we have the Rolls-Royce Power Systems MTU V10 1625 horsepower engine option with the ZF gearboxes. As with all Maritimos, the 75 transfers all of that power to five blade Nibral Veeam propellers via an ultra low angle straight shaft drive. Standard generator power on board is a 22 kilowatt either Cummins, Onan or Kohler generator located here to the starboard side where we do have the option as well over to the port side to install a second generator if that's desired as well. And located to the aft end of the engine room as well, we have the design position for optional quick 56 gyro or C keeper 18 gyro. Um, and we also have the secondary access to the engine room from above. Now that hatch is large enough as well that you can retrofit any of those gyros aftermarket. <laughs> Thank you for joining me aboard the official walkthrough tour. If you'd like to find out more about the S75 sedan motor yacht, be sure to head to the Maritimo website in your region.